Hey guys, it's Natalie here. I thought that now that it is, what month is it? February, I do my January favorites. So it's a little bit of everything, so bear with me. I'm also a little bit sick, so excuse all of this and this. Um, I'm going to start off with the new makeup products that I found. There's only really one or two, I guess, that I've really fallen in love with. Um, I used to use the Elizabeth Arden, um, this is what it looks like, and it's the Pure Finish Mineral Powder Foundation with SPF 20 in light, I believe it is, or 002, and it's really awesome, this is what it looks like. It's really awesome, but it's about $40, and I'm in university, and I can't afford that, so... I decided to try this. It's the um, Physician's Formula Min Mineral Wear Illuminating Duo Powder. Looks like this. And it comes with this little brush here. I don't use the brush, but the powder is really nice. It has pretty decent coverage. I just wear it on top of a little bit of concealer and some BB cream. Pretty decent coverage. It is about how much was it? Like less than $10, so it's really affordable. And there's two colors. I don't know if you can see, but there's a lighter and a darker, so you can find your real, like, perfect perfect shade, which is really nice. Um, the next thing I got from Sephora, um, <clears throat> it's the Organics Ginseng. Ooh, can you see that? No, not really. Um, and it's a refreshing eye cream to brighten a deep puff. And it has all kinds of, like, it's all natural. It has all kinds of ingredients in it, like ginseng, green tea, and it acts to... Um, depuff and add some caffeine to the area and then also it has um, some kind of like reflective material in it um, so you can wear that with your makeup what's the next thing my nail polish which I'm wearing right now um, this is OPI Nicole from the Nicole collection I think it's called kiss me at midnight it is and I've been obsessed with it it's super pretty. I have it on right now. I don't know if you can see that. On top of some other stuff. But it's really nice. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Speaking of nails, I had been eyeing this Salon Express situation for a long time. And I finally picked it up at Walmart. It was on sale for $14. So what it is, is you get these little bits. It comes with this little scraper and then it comes with five of these little um, <clears throat> little palettes Ooh. hello it's like reflecting everything back at me yeah it comes with these little palettes and they have little designs that you could ooh look I have a problem where I pick up all my nail polish so that's what's happening there um, so it comes with five of those all kinds of different cool designs on them um, I don't know if you can see. I'll try to put my finger that close. But this is a little butterfly Ooh. that I did. People have been asking me how I got it on there. There we go. Kind of. Um, it's really nice. Super easy. You can do any color you want. I haven't seen anything else out there like it. It's not like a lot of my things I like to like make myself. And I like doing my own nail designs. But this just makes it super easy and it's a lot of fun and you can do it. People who have trouble, like with their non-dominant hand doing their nails, this is really easy to do with both hands, so that's really helpful. What else? Oh, my room scent for this month. I've been pretty obsessed with this, and I have a little wallflower from Bath & Body Works, and this one is the Candy Apple. Um, it smells like a dream. I love it. I have it plugged in. Um, they burn really fast. Like, they plug into the wall, and they just burn off really fast. But I found, I just figured this out this time, if you tilt it, then it burns slower, like, the plug tilts. And if you tilt it, then it, like, disperses more slowly. Because in my dorm room, it's not that big, and fills up with scent really fast. And sometimes it gets a little overwhelming. So I find that really awesome. Um, what else? Oh, I'm a David's Tea Addict. I have a problem. I love teas. So this one, I was looking for something really fruity. I usually go in there and get the luscious watermelon. Luscious? I can't speak. Luscious watermelon. 
but they were sold out, so I was really sad, and there's no David C. where I live, so I was just there for one day, and it was like the saddest thing ever, but they recommended this, and this is the goji pop, it's a herbal tea, what does it have in it? Goji berries, which are like an antioxidant, so that's really good, um, apples, hibiscus blossoms, rose hip, honeydew, melon cubes, lemon oil, marigold petals, and flavoring, and it's just the prettiest pink color ever, and it tastes amazing. It tastes like hot juice. It tastes way better than it sounds. Hot juice doesn't sound that great. But it's really, really good, and I'm kind of addicted to it. I bought, like, I don't know how many grams this is. 50 grams, I think? No, there's no way this is 50 grams. I bought a little bag like this. I'm going to go fill it up soon, because I've only had it for two days, and I've been drinking it non-stop. So that's really awesome. It was about $6, and it'll last me another little while. The other thing, it's getting into, like, midterm writing time, and I've been obsessed with these pens. I know pens are a really weird thing to talk about, but sometimes it's hard to find a really good pen. So these are the Uniball from Vision. don't know how to display it properly. Um, they're amazing. They write so smoothly. Um, I usually get like blisters on my hands from writing and these don't give me blisters which is really awesome. Um, I think it's $15 for a pack of four but they last forever. Like one pen last year lasted me all year. And I don't know. That said I do take notes on my computer. So they lasted me for other things like writing lists and things like that. Um, but they're really awesome. The other thing I did which is pretty exciting, is I finally got rid of the Uggs, threw them out, and invested in a really nice pair of boots. Um, ooh, they're kind of wet right now. I went for the Sorrel boots. They look like this. They look so huge. Um, they're the most comfortable boots I've ever gotten. And they're comfortable, they're warm, they're waterproof. What is my hair doing? Um, and they're just amazing, and I always liked Uggs, but I live in a really, yeah, looking outside, it's pretty bad, a really wet climate. It's freezing, like it went down to like minus 40 the other day, and it's always slushy, so I decided to invest in those, which is a really good choice. Um, they were 100 and, I think they were originally like 230, but I found a pair cheaper online, and then I showed the people in the store, and I got them from Little Burgundy. But I showed the people in the store, and they gave them to me for $150, which was awesome. And they were, like, the best purchase this winter because I'm going to wear them for a few more years, definitely. Because they were expensive, and they're awesome, and there's a warranty, and I love them. It's a good choice. Um, anyways, that is everything that I have loved so far this year, 2013. Um, if you have any questions or comments or anything um, I'd love to hear them um, yeah I'm gonna keep doing these videos maybe somebody will watch them um, yeah so I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have an awesome February bye